Yeah, so we're getting skill-based matchmaking in the new Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Um, not a lot of people are really excited about this, and I don't know why. It's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so skill-based matchmaking is coming to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, and not a lot of people are excited about it. Um... It was made, skill-based matchmaking was made to separate high-skill and low-skill players um, for a more enjoyable experience uh, using track stats in the game. Things like, you know, how far you run, how fast you run, how many things you jumped over, how much time you spent in ADS, how many kills did you get, how many times did you get killed, and, you know, so on and so forth. Um, it, But usually how it actually records uh like your your trackings and things like this it it uses the last five games to identify who you should be playing against and basically that's the only thing that really matters is your last five games uh it's also used to protect low skill players from high skill players um which i think is perfectly fine i think everybody's in agreement that you know you shouldn't be able to roll over low skill players when they're just like entering into if they if this is their first call of duty or whatever and they just you know want to have fun like the rest of us i think it's it's fine to protect low skill players for a little bit um there are some ways around this though um we've seen things like reverse reverse boosted lobbies um so svmm isn't perfect um so what i want to ask is why is skill-based matchmaking frowned upon by the player base uh, for, from like the, the Call of Duty community? Um, other multiplayer games, it's fine. But when it's implemented in the really popular franchise Call of Duty, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Nobody is, is happy about it. Um, Skill-based matchmaking, or at least Activision's version of skill-based matchmaking, um, is really like detailed, and you can go like in depth on like what attracts and, th and stuff like this. But uh, matchmaking in general is in other FPS games like CS:GO or Overwatch. Um, there's a public playlist and a ranked playlist. Fighting games. For for the most part, most fighting games will have a public playlist and a ranked playlist. Sports, there's a ranked and a public playlist. Even MMOs, stuff like uh, things like WoW, PvP, there's public and ranked. So there's like some form of matchmaking in those types of games. But for Call of Duty, it's it's a no go. Um, I do think the next Call of Duty should have a ranked playlist and a casual playlist it should not be you know just just casual playlist and then skill-based matchmaking to to separate everybody i mean it it's really hard to play it it just really is it's hard to play um also um if you're just like a casual person that wants to play call of duty and you just like collecting gun camos it's it's really hard if you're in like whatever lobby after five games you start doing good um it'll put you in a, into a lobby where you know there's people of equal skill and it just becomes harder to grind gun camos and unless you're using like a meta gun then it, it's just you just you just die all the time it and you know it, it doesn't become too fun uh, I think Call of Duty is, I mean, it's an arcade shooter, you know, no one's playing Call of Duty for the realism, you know, uh, skill-based matchmaking in all lobbies, um, becomes excessively difficult when you're trying to get kill streaks, which is like a really fun thing to do when you play Call of Duty is, you know, you try to get a couple kills in a row, get some kill streaks, call in the dogs, call in the chopper gunner, whatever. Try to get the nuke, you know, so on and so forth. And with skill-based matchmaking uh, implemented, it's it's almost impossible. It, like, 
<laughs> no one, no one's getting skill-based matchmaking nukes, dude. They're all reverse boosted nukes. So, just stop. <laughs> um, if Activision is always putting you in challenging lobbies, it becomes almost impossible to get kill streaks. Yeah, it's it's if you know if you kill one person, they want someone else to like coach you virtually or or whatever to you know let you know which routes you can and can't run so it's you get a kill i get a kill you get a kill i get a kill you know yeah that's fine if you're like playing like a tournament or something but if you're doing like just casual stuff and you like want to pop off and get some kill streaks or whatever it's like that's not fun uh which brings me to my next point uh if skill based matchmaking would be implemented uh why shouldn't you have to try really hard to to get a kill streak or get a high kd for the win or, or or whatever you're going for why shouldn't you have to really try is it assumed that since you're playing call of duty it's supposed to be really easy to to get kills and pop off and and do all you know all these things I mean, you know, maybe you would feel more accomplished if all the lobbies in, in skill-based matchmaking... Uh, maybe you would feel more accomplished if all lobbies had skill-based matchmaking and you started winning because you sat down and focused on the game. I mean, maybe? Who's to say that? It's... I don't know. Because I, when you compare that... and if you, if you compare that statement to a, any other game genre... I mentioned before, like, fighting game, sports game, um, some type of any, like, other FPS. It's like, you should have to, you know, really try and go for those those high kill games or those kill streaks or whatever you want. So, I don't know. I think it, I think with COD, it's always, it's always had... A low time to kill for the franchise it's just you know you you kill someone in like a fraction of a second uh and usually when you have low time to kill uh, you have more run and gun play style uh sadly uh you know modern warfare there's and at least in the multiplayer there's not too much uh running and gunning it's more like camping and whatever all right um and although uh, run and gun is really fun in casuals, um, if you're trying to do like ranked stuff, sometimes you need that one or two, those one or two guys to sit back and camp and watch lines, watch routes. I mean, it's just it is what it is. This is all coming from a casual myself. All right, so hey, it is what it is. Um, maybe it, maybe the current form of skill-based matchmaking from Activision isn't sophisticated enough to put people against each other for the right skill level. Because skill-based matchmaking has had nothing but people disliking it. Um, I, I've, I've heard nothing but negative things. I mean, I do believe, you know, like I said before, I do believe you should protect like the new players for X amount of levels or whatever. It's fine, but it, there's just a, it comes to a point where you have this like you have like your new player, your average player, and maybe like your above average player, and then you got like your tournament top tier one percent dudes that you know do all their stuff. But then there's the issue of this large player base that's like your quote unquote average player base, average skill player base, where you want them to like become better at the game but the skill based matchmaking system doesn't reflect that in the numbers if you constantly want it, it it's like activision wants you to have like a 50 50 win lose rate and like a 1.0 kd that those stats will satisfy way more people than having like an 80 20 win lose percent or like a 6 KD, 7, 8, 9, 10 KD or whatever. I mean, yeah, it's fun to get those things. But the the singular people that get those comes at a cost of 
many other people dying or, or losing or whatever for that one person to have like loads amounts of fun or whatever. So I think activism just feels that, you know, it, it's, it's better to have like a 50, 50 win lose and a 1.0 KD that's going to satisfy way, uh, way more people. Um, let me know what you think. Skill-based matchmaking in the new Call of Duty. Later.